Hi everybody. I have three cards to show you today and they're all from the Forever Fern Suite. So these are the three cards that I'm going to show you today. And these are the colors that I'm using. Pretty Peacock, Mint Macaron, Misty Moonlight, and Seaside Spray. Those are beautiful colors. Nice and vibrant. But this is the suite. If you want to take a look at it, it's on page 108 of the annual catalog. And this is the price, 105 But you get the bundle, which is the stamp set. Really pretty stamp set. And the dies, which come with it. These are some of the pieces that I stamped. And I want to show you, because this is what is called the distinctive stamp sets and what that means is it gives you a lot of detail without having to do a whole lot of work which is great so then you also get the folders these little mini folders and this is going to go with our mini cutting machine that's coming for you in September if you sign up as a demonstrator you can see it and order it in August which I can't wait to do then these little hoops, these are really pretty. So one of the cards I'm doing has the hoop. And then the paper, which is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I forgot, sorry. Let me show you this first because this is also included. And this is the laser cut um, gold paper that I've been using a lot of. And I used it in my last online card class. So these are... I took the little pieces out and I am going to make a card with a couple of these pieces. So I'm going to put that to the side and then you get all of these beautiful leaves and sprays. They're just so pretty. You can turn them over and use the back side which is white and you can use a sponge dauber and change the color of this if you would like. So if you don't want it to be white, you can make it any color you like. I have seen it in the catalog. They did do it with the pretty peacock. So I'm going to put this to the side. And then the designer series paper that comes with it is just absolutely gorgeous. I love this paper. So I'm going to show you real quick and then we're going to get on to the cards. So this is the paper. This is the front side, the back side. I love this. I'm going to show you how to do a technique later on in the week where we paint these stripes ourselves. It's going to be cool, so stay tuned. The next one, I love this. It kind of reminds me of water. And some more leaves. This paper is all just gorgeous. I love the colors that are in it. And there's so many colors that do coordinate with this. You don't have to use, you know, just the colors that are included in the paper. Oh, love this paper. I think this one is my favorite, of course. I think it reminds me of that um, botanical suite that we had, the product suite. That the same type of greenery, I think, was in it. So, it's probably why I like it so much. But if you want to take a look at it, and if you do need to order something, this is where you go to order www.donnacoffman.stampingup.net. And then my blog, where I'm going to post my videos, you'll have to go there and look for them, is www.donna-stamps.blogspot.com. And I will have a link on my Facebook page, and I'm going to also send it out in an email and if you do go to my blog, make sure that you look on the left-hand side of the screen. There's a place that you can sign up to get email emails when I update my blog. So that way you don't miss out on anything. And you can see my fabulous nails today. I actually got them done yesterday and they were they did a great job of taking care of making sure that we felt safe when we came in. You waited in your car, everybody was masked up. They had the screens between you and the nail technician, which was awesome. So let's get started on this first card. This one I did in um, the Misty Moonlight, which is a new color this year. And this one is a different size. It's three and a half by five. And we do sell these um, cards and envelopes together. 
So these are really nice. So what I would do, if you do make these at the three and a half by five inch size, I don't know that I would send this. You can send it in the mail and it has gone through. But for myself, I would take a piece of cardstock and I just liked it because it matched. But I would put it in one of our clear envelopes and then on the back side, you can put the address, your stamp, and your return address on here. And then just close it up and it goes through the mail like this and everybody gets to enjoy it along the way. So this one we're going to do slightly backwards. You know, use the same colors, but use the background paper. And this is the Seaside Spray. This is a beautiful color and don't they go so well together? I love these colors. So here is the cardstock and the envelope that you get. And I'm sorry, I didn't put the um, number, I didn't write it down so that I could give it to you. But I'm going to do PDFs for all of these cards and it will have the supplies on there and you can find it there. So I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to bring this over. And of course, you know, I'm going to use my glue and my craft sheet. And I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to put this up here. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this. Don't put a whole lot of glue on it. You don't want it to come through the front. And I did try to put glue along the edge, but I swear I cannot do a straight line for anything. No one wants to play Pictionary with me because I can't draw. But really, I don't know why it is so hard to do a straight line around here. But it really is for me. Hopefully, you won't have as much trouble as I do. But just give it your best shot. Put a little bit of glue up there in the corner, just a little bit. Like I said, you don't want it to come through the front and make a great big old mess. So if you just dab it on there and go ahead and pick that other glue up. And I didn't have any trouble with it sticking. It just stuck really well. So we'll put this to the side and bring this in. Lay it down. Like I said, it, it sticks on there like crazy. It's not going anywhere. So we're going to put that right there, and then we're going to do a little bit of stamping. And for this, I did use the Seaside Spray. This is a beautiful color. This is a new color. And then this is the Misty Moonlight. This is one of the end colors. So I should have wrote, usually what I do is I put a piece of, um, on the back, you know, you can peel these up. And this is what um, tells you what color you're working with because when they're together, they look so much alike. So what I do is I take a piece of this. I'll just show you so you know how I do it. And then try not to get your fingers in the glue like I just, or in the, ink like I just did but I put it right inside here and then that way I can see what color it is so much easier to do when you're not on camera I'm trying to get try to keep your fingers out of the ink and but you get you get the idea and you can come back in and fix this which you know it'll drive me crazy until I do fix it so eh, just fix this baby so we'll just put that right there and then you know that this is the Misty Moonlight. And then this is the Seaside Spray. So, you know, you don't have to cut it in half. Sorry. It takes a little bit to get that in there. And just put it down in there. And I'll fix that later so you don't have to watch me fiddle around with it. So on this one, I use the darker color on the top. And I think I'm just going to do that again. I like how it turned out, so I'm not going to goof around with it. I do have to caution you with, these are both new ink pads. So I tell the girls at class, just tap, 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 tap. Don't go, because your ink's going to go everywhere and make a great big mess. So you want this to be facing the right way. This is three inches and like I said, I'll have all of these measurements on my blog. 
but this is three by three and a half your white piece so let's just stamp this and see what I mean about the distinctive stamp it looks like that you colored this with shading and you get that all from this stamp and if you look at it you can tell how they laser cut this to make the shading in there I think it's just fabulous so then we're going to come in and this is the seaside spray ink it up but don't go crazy because I noticed on this one it's slightly off center for the stem so if you pounce on it it's going to give you the ugly shadow and you don't want that when you're stamping you just overlap these they're so pretty together aren't they love it these colors go really well together and I could have actually done that a little bit darker, but I just didn't want to make a mess with it. So for this, I use, we have this Seaside Spray ribbon. This is just beautiful, isn't it? Can you see the shimmer in it? You know, I love shimmer. So you just cut a little piece. Get my scissors. And I just use a little bit of glue. Get a little bit of glue down here. Where you want it to be it doesn't take a whole lot you know with this glue it really really doesn't take a whole lot so I'm gonna cut this a little bit shorter I just like to lay that right over it and then just come back in with the hello You can make your straight if you want, but I just, I like that off-kilter look. And I forgot to tell you, I love sprinkles. If you know me, you know that I love to use, when we had the gorgeous grunge, I love that stamp set. It was one of my favorites, and I always, the girls always made fun of me because I really did like to use it on everything. But what I do for these, since it's, these inks are really intense, I stamp off. And stamping off is just you tap, tap, tap on your ink, stamp off on a piece of paper, and then just lightly all over. So then you can stamp off and go on to your other color and just tap, stamp off, and then just go right back over it. And this one is a little bit lighter, so you can get a little bit more if you like. And it's just how you like it. I... I love sprinkles, so, you know, for me, I just, I go to town with it. But you just glue. Put this over here so you can see it. And we're just going to bring it in. Make sure it's the same on both sides for you. So that, you know, I'm going to. I'm going to scoot these over because I'm going to end up sticking my fingers in it. And then I'm going to cry because I'll get a big old splotch on my pretty piece. So then all you want to do is you want to come in. You want to glue it up. And add it to your cardstock base. Isn't that pretty? I like this color too. I like both of them. I think they're really pretty and that those distinctive stamps are just amazing. And what I did with mine is I did put some of the rhinestones on and these are the holiday rhinestone basic jewels. And they have I'm not sure if they have the colors on here. But I think that they match this just so well. If you can get into them. So, of course, use your pick tool. And I just used these colors. This, I think, just matches so pretty. Put that on there. Just wherever you like them to be. I think they're gorgeous. So, I think that's enough for that one. Put that to the side. And then your envelope. You always, I always stamp my envelope. So I just do a little bit of the edge. I do like to put my paper under here so I don't mess up my, up 
paper there. Isn't that pretty? And then you come back in, get the seaside spray. That up. So pretty. And then of course the hello. And the same thing with this one. It has a lot of red rubber down at the bottom. And if you don't watch, you will get that um, ink on the bottom and it just makes a mess. So just take your time, just tap, and then you can see, turn it over and look at it. You can see where your ink is. And then just put the hello. Oops. And then I'll have to come back in with my marker and fix that because I was afraid I would make a mess. But with this one, I did the envelope, just so you can see, and I put the sprinkles on it as well. And then you can just put it inside here and send it on its way. So I really do like this one. I think it turned out really well. I'm going to put this to the side so you can see it. And then I'm going to close these up and we'll move on to our next card. I do like to clean my stamps just in case, well, I use them again. I know that I have all the ink off of them. Of course, somebody's calling. I'm going to put you on pause. So the next card we're going to do is more of, looks like a wedding card to me, love and laughter forever after. I guess it could be for any other occasion, maybe. But I just, I like it. I think this would be really nice because it would actually, I think for the guy too, he might like it. The colors are really pretty. So I put all my pieces inside. And again, this is from the Forever Fern Suite. And I wanted to just let you know, I did cut my card base a little bit smaller than I usually do. I usually cut it at four and a quarter by five and a half. But this one, I actually cut it at four and an eighth, just because I want to be able to use as much of my designer series paper as I can. And I cut it at four by five and a half. And then it just leaves a little bit of reveal on the edge. And I think that's nice. So what you want to do, isn't that back piece pretty too? That's really nice. That'd be pretty too. If I hadn't already started gluing, I might have used that sign and see what it looked like. But we'll just go with it. So what you want to do is you just want to glue this down on your card base. And if you want to do this last, if you're going to stamp the inside of your card, you might want to wait and do all of this and then attach it to your card base so that you, or you can use your stamp apparatus and then you know you get this in the right spot. So we're going to start with this piece. And this is, um, I think, a one inch by five. So then you just glue this down. And I cut this one a little bit shorter and you can't see it as well. So this time I made sure that I cut this a little bit longer so that we could see underneath here. And I'm going to use a different piece this time. You can use any of these. I think they're just so pretty. So you just want to glue this down. And I'm just going to glue it in the center because I have some pieces that are going to fit underneath and I want to make sure that I can pop them under there. So just put this piece in here. I want to make sure and kind of see that you have the same amount of reveal on both sides. I like it like that. Then I'm going to put... Now this one is hard to get it to stick to the foil. So you do want to use something. I use the glue, but it kind of slides around sometimes and then you get it crooked. So if you just go ahead and use your glue dots, you know that there, it's going to stay where you want it to be. And I did forget to tell you, I flagged the ends and that's with our punch. And what I usually do I hope this works since I went ahead and glued it up. I want to know where this flag is going to be. So there's my writing. You can see it. Just pull it back until you have the same on both sides and it's in the center. 
and then just pop it and you get your flag. Go ahead and do the other side. And then if you want, I think that looks pretty good. So I did um, heat emboss this with the white embossing and it feels like it might have needed a little bit more cooking. But I'm going to go ahead and put it on here and then I can fix it a little bit later. If you don't um, mess around with it too much. And I might actually redo it because that will bug me. So at least with the glue dots, if you want to take this back off and heat emboss it, you can just take your embossing gun and heat this up and then they'll just pop right out of there. So if you ever use tape runner and you get your card crooked or something, you can always heat it with your heat emboss gun and pop it back up. If you use this Tombow Mono adhesive, you cannot. It just it sticks like crazy and you're not going to get it up. So I just pop these on here. A little bit of glue on them. right underneath. And I think these are pretty together. I'm going to leave the gold. I want to be able to see the gold. So I'm going to move this over a little bit. There you go. Okay. And then this, I just cut it in half. Look at the detail on this leaf where it ran through the embossing folder. So pretty. So just put a little bit of glue on here, pop it underneath where you can see it against the gold, like it right under there. So let's pop this one under here. And these laser cut, these laser cutouts make your cards go together so much quicker. And of course, you know, I'm going to have to fix this top piece, but you get the idea. Isn't this card just so pretty? I love all the colors. So we're going to put this to the side. And then this is the third card that I made. And I got all of these ideas out of the annual catalog. And if I didn't like the colors that Stamping Up used, I just changed them. But I did use the general outline of the cards that they had in the book. And you can find them with the Forever Fern Suite. So I think this is just so pretty. And this piece right here is from this embossing folder. And these are the mini embossing folders. They're really cool. So I'm gonna put this right here so we can see it. And again, I cut this just a little bit smaller than I usually do at four and an eighth by five and a half. And these are all the pieces. I have two pieces. Oh, no wonder I couldn't find that other one. So again, what you want to do is you want to come in and you want to glue this piece down to your card base. And like I said, all the dimensions will be on my blog when you go there to watch the videos. I'll post the PDFs as well. So just put this down. And what you want to do with this is you want to take your hoop and all I did, of course, you know me trying to get a straight line of glue on here. I just put the glue right on the hoop and put your ribbon on there. Whoops. Whoops. that and then you want to just bring this down probably about here just let it catch just a little bit and it will stick and then just wrap this around the back and tape it down the glue is gluey I have to tell you so then just tape this down. You won't need as much ribbon. I just cut it because I wanted it to be sure and have enough when I did it. So then you want to just glue the back. And 
put it a little bit. I'll put a little bit on the ribbon as well. Because you want it to stick down. It is harder when you're using embossed pieces. That's why you want to use the Tombow liquid glue. Because you want it to stick. Let's hold this down a second. Make sure you get it straight. I noticed on mine, I think it slid to the side and it's a little bit crooked and that drives me crazy. So then you want to come in. This is another piece of the Forever Fern Gold Laser Cut Paper. This is just so pretty and it fits on here just so perfectly. It's like it was made for it. Stampin' Up! just knows what they're doing, don't they? So you just want to Add some glue. Put this on here. And then you want to come in with your pieces that you've cut. And this is the pretty peacock. Want some of your gold to show, so don't cover it all up. Such a pretty piece. Then you want to come in with your next one. And I like that in the dies, they give you two of these. And one faces one way and one faces the other way, these leaves. And then you have the hello. And I stamped that on seafoam green. And this is the pretty peacock. And I like to leave it like this until I'm ready and then I can just come in and I can cut it however I want. If I want it to be smaller, and then just glue it down. Put it right over there. And you could use glue dots under these, but this does, it dries and it won't come loose once it dries up. So then this is also included, this twine, this gold twine. So pretty and ties such a nice bow. I've used so much of it, I only have this much left. So I need to order more, but it's on back order right now. So I'm waiting for it. It's like, please hurry and come so I can make some more. Okay, I'm going to tie your bow. And I don't like that, so I'm going to tie it again. Just cut that off. Okay. So just take in, make sure you have enough tail, and then just wrap it around, bring it through, and tie it. And that's the beauty of bows. You can tie them over and over again. You don't like them, take them loose, do it again. I like that one. That one turned out nice. So what you want to do is you want to take a glue dot, take your pick tool, pick up a glue dot, and just place it like right underneath the hello. I'm going to take a couple of them just so that your bow doesn't go anywhere. I want it to stick. Okay. Just take your bow and press it into place and then you can trim it up. Isn't it pretty? So leave me a comment. Tell me which one is your favorite. Tell me which one you're going to make and I will have the PDFs and a video posted on my blog. Hope you enjoy it. Have a good day. Bye.